As you know, yesterday the Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer of Alberta Health Services left his position following the release of his past expense claims while he was holding a similar position with Capital Health. Uh, I've been assured by Alberta Health Services that there are processes in place today, now, that are far more stringent than what was the case under the former Capital Health Authority. I also want to tell you that uh, last evening I spoke with Sheila Weatherill, who is uh, the former CEO of Capital Health and uh, has been a board member of Alberta Health Services. Uh, Ms. Weatherill offered uh, her resignation. Uh, in our discussion, she, uh, uh, she indicated to me that she felt that the reputation of Alberta Health Services and, uh, and even more importantly, public confidence in our health care system uh, was the most important thing at the present time. Um, and, uh, and in that uh, vein, she offered her resignation and I accepted her resignation. Uh, to me, this is not the kind of thing that we just sort of quickly move through and, uh, and ask a few short questions and get a few comments and then say we're moving on. This is, this is something that we have to truly get to the bottom of. I don't want there to be any uh, doubt whatsoever that I am outraged and the government is outraged uh, uh, by what has been revealed here. The question is, did the government and AHS come forward because of moral conscience? The answer is no, it's because of political liability. And in order to restore confidence, the same people who have their hands in the cookie jar who are involved, you can't have them looking at themselves. The foxes are guarding the henhouse. We need a truly independent public inquiry. We need a forensic auditing of the books, of all expenses, of all senior executive vice presidents, and the CEO of Capital Health. 